Virtually all the concrete of these enormous structures was pulverized into very fine dust. This was the South Tower. This was 104, 106 stories tall. This is what is left. Up there was the North Tower. And you look, and you see, and there's no concrete. There's very little concrete. All you see is aluminum and steel. What happened to the concrete? The concrete was pulverized. And I was down here Tuesday, and it was like you were on a foreign planet. All of lower Manhattan, not just this site, from river to river, there was dust powder two, three inches thick. The concrete was just uh, pulverized. Try this. Get a piece of concrete and drop it uh, a little over a thousand feet and see if it pulverizes into very fine dust. It won't happen. Welcome to 9-11 Experiments. Experiments you can do at home to help you prove or disprove the theories of the official 9-11 Commission. One of the things we saw in the videos of the World Trade Center was the falling concrete from the floors above, causing the concrete below to explode into pyroclastic clouds of concrete dust. The Truth Movement does not believe it. It says the concrete should have formed cracked chunks of concrete at the bottom. Well, we're going to demonstrate this by dropping a concrete block off a five-floor balcony, and we'll see for ourselves the pulverized concrete dust powder at the base of this building. Well, so let's go to Home Depot and get some concrete blocks. Concrete slab. Do you have any concrete? Okay. Oh. This thing, uh, they have Nanothermite. Nanothermite. Do they have that? Okay. 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 Okay